All right, guys, what we're looking at here is a Mox brand, Mox Toys, U.S. Army tank, which is run by a clockwork wind-up mechanism. Okay. The bottom shell and motor is contained in a metal box. The top half of it is plastic. was made in the 1960s and still has the Marx emblem. You can see it right there. Let's see if I can get it focused in. I don't know if I can. Okay, it says Marx made in USA. Okay, it's got a nice little detail, you know, graphics of the, uh, the engine. Box is always very cool about detail. Um, even though they were kids' toys, like like the trains and all the other toys, they were very keen on detail. You see right here, it says. You see on the toolbox here, right here it says spare parts. And then on the other one. It says tools. Hope you can see that. Now, a little boy playing with this toy wouldn't really care about those little things, but Marx did. Marx cared about the detail and the quality of their product, um, and uh, that's why they last so long. Okay. Again, I believe this is 1960s, from what I've seen online. The fact that it may, says on it, made in, made in the United States of America, that's what it says on that seal there. It says, made in the United States of America. Uh, that definitely makes me believe that 60s is the right, um, the right decade. So, we're going to wind it up, and we're going to shoot it across the table both ways, just going straight. It goes quite fast, quite fast, surprisingly fast with the tracks. And then, I'm going to set up an obstacle here. I'm going to set up a little hill obstacle, which I made. And uh, we're going to see if it can climb up over the hill to the other side. And uh, that would be a little impressive. All right. Um, so, that's where we're at with this one. Very cool little toy. Uh, it's about uh, six inches long, three and a half inches high, something like that. Maybe a little longer than six inches. Uh, the the, the wheel span is probably six. So let me uh, wind her up, and I'll be right back. So, all right, guys, I got this thing wound up almost all the way. She's going to shoot across this little four-foot table pretty quickly. I'm going to try to pick it up and spin it around, make it go the other way. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it fast enough before it loses power. So, um, bear with me here. Okay. That was pretty cool. extremely slick, so it doesn't grip very well, I don't think, but um, it doesn't go very far distance, but it goes fast, quite fast, but um, since it does go fast, that means it has a lot of power, so we're going to see if it can climb up over this hill here, Let's see how high the hill is, let me show you how high the hill is, the hill is as high as the tank itself, okay, just have a have a bottle under there, creating the hill, and we're going to see if it can climb straight up one side, down the other, and uh, that should be a fun thing to see, now sit tight, alright guys, so I have my uh, little hill here, constructed, I put it on the floor, the table's a little too slick the material, I want to show you first of all, as I did before, here's the, the tank, you see how much of a climb it is. It's the, the hill is the height of the tank. Okay, so um, you see it right there. You can almost.
just drive through it like a tunnel. Okay? So, I want to uh, <clears throat> set the camera down on this side. I'm going to go on the other side and shoot it over to the camera. And hopefully, uh, we'll have success here. So, I'm going to get a decent uh, angle. And I uh, got it wound up. So, I'm going to get the camera set and uh, I'll get set to release. six or eight inches away from the beginning of the climb. Alright guys, I think that was a pretty successful test both directions. Um, pretty impressed. Um, what happened there was, you know, I just got a bottle under here. It's a bottle underneath this little placemat here to make the hill. And when the, the, um, the tank came and hit it, when the tank hit it and started going up, the bottle started rolling and it lost its traction and flipped over because the bottle wasn't secured. You see. So then what I did was I chucked it, I put a little uh, piece of cardboard underneath there to chuck it, keep it from rolling, and as soon as I did that, the tank went right over, no problems. But uh, if I had a regular um, hill, so to speak, constructed with cardboard or anything at all, and was stable, with no movement at all, I have no doubts that the tank would go, would go over it. Very cool little toy, I'm sure. Uh, some boys had a lot of fun with these, playing out in the dirt and the rocks and everything else. Uh, I, I can just imagine. Uh, I always loved playing with my army men when I was a kid. And uh, I never had one of these. I sure wish I did. So, um, okay, that's it on the Mark's tank. And 1960s, still fully functional, fully operating. And uh, it's never been a uh, mess with. All original. So... Anybody can, <clears throat> can add any more to this uh, description, by all means, please do so. If you have any questions or um, any suggestions, uh, please uh, just comment below. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Book them, Dano.